Hi everyone, this is Andy with Blunga.com and if you're new to this channel, welcome. Here we review productivity software for personal and business use and also make tutorials about the apps that we like the most. Today we're going to review Monday.com. This application will help you with project management, task management and also team collaboration. Let's start. Monday.com is a platform that can handle a variety of work, but in this video we're going to focus on using it as a project manager. This tool is very flexible and you can use it, for example, as a CRM, but the functionality is very limited compared to other CRMs out there. Today we are reviewing the pro version. When you log into monday.com, you start on the home page. Here you can find your notifications as well as your recent tasks and workspaces. On the left, you will see a navigation bar that you can use to navigate to different modules. On the bottom, you can use the search icon to search for anything as well as the help center and your profile icon where you can change the settings. When you open the workspaces module, you will see the latest board that you were working on. In this case, the boards are projects that we have. On the top, you can find the project navigation bar that you can use to switch between views or even add a new view. Also, you can manage any integrations or automations for this project and also use the filters. Each project is composed of a list of units or tasks that you can organize any way you want. There is a lot of customization available here, but we will talk about that later in the video. To add a new task, just click on the Add button, type Name, and then press Enter. To add a new project, click on the button Add on the left of the screen. Then select either New Board or Choose from Templates. Something worth to mention is that there are multiple search bars across the app that will help you find anything you want. You have the main search bar that we saw before, as well as this search bar in the workspace that will search through all the projects. And also inside each project, we have a search button that will only look inside the project. I think the user interface looks good, but might be a little bit too complicated at the beginning when you're starting to use this app. There's a lot going on here, but after a few hours of using it, you will find it user-friendly. Here are the features I like the most about monday.com. There are multiple views available, so you can see the tasks inside each project in the best way possible. Different projects have different views, like a main table or a timeline or even a map. Also, the views are customizable as well. And you can also add a form that you can share with others so they can add tasks to the project using the form. Another feature I like is column summary. You can turn on the column summary on any column you want, so it will show what's going on with that column. The third feature I want to mention is time tracking. You can track time for each individual task directly from the project. You can just click on the start button to start the clock, or you can add a session manually. Dashboards is another feature that is essential on any project manager. Here, you can create dashboards to see the information about your projects, so you're up to date with what's going on. These boards are very flexible, and there are a lot of widget options. The last feature on my list is working status. You can tell your team members about your status, choosing from the list. That way, your team will know if you're not available. Here you can also turn on Do Not Disturb mode, so you don't get distracted with notifications. Let's talk about customization. Monday.com is very customizable and flexible, but there are other project managers out there that have the same level of customization. You can have multiple workspaces, where you will find the projects related to each workspace. And inside you can find folders, projects, and dashboards. Regarding each project, you can change the views as well as adding new views and customizing them all for each project. On the top, you can add a project description if you need it. You also have a lot of options on the unit list. You can group units or tasks as well as adding new columns, which are custom fields. It is worth to mention that monday.com has the most column types I have ever seen in a project manager software. When creating new projects, you can use templates. There is a list of templates already available, but you can create your own templates as well. This will save all the views, units and groups, as well as all the integrations and automations you set up. Now let's go over automations. Monday.com has a great selection of automations that you can choose from. These are pre-made, so you only need to set up the basics. In the Automation Center, you will find all the categories available, like sending notifications, changing statuses, creating or moving items, working with dependencies, and you even have the option to create your custom automation. On the Boards Automation tab, you can easily see all the automations related to each project and also turn them on or off. Something to keep in mind is that the automations are made at a project level, so you will have to create new automations each time you create a new project. But if you save the project as a template, the automations will be saved as well. Webhooks are also available, but you can set them up in the integrations tab that we will review next. 
I think Monday.com is ahead of other project managers for getting automations because there are a lot of options here and they're easy to set up. Integrations are important when you work with multiple apps and share information between them. Monday.com has an integration section that lists all the integrations available. When you open any integration, you can see the different actions that the integration can perform. Some of the apps you can find here are Google Workspaces, Slack, Trello, HubSpot, Microsoft Teams, and more. In this page, you can also set up webhooks. And if the app you're looking for is not listed, you can use Zapier. Keep in mind that when you set up an integration, you're doing it at a project level, so you will have to set up the integration for each project. Another feature related to integrations is the app marketplace. We can find apps or add-ons that you can install to your Monday.com account to add more functionality. There are a lot of apps developed by Monday.com as well as third-party developers. And for some of them, you will have to pay a monthly subscription. The setup process for this account was really simple and there was a lot of information available like videos and articles. I think that if you have to do it for your business, you're not going to have any difficulties. The most challenging part would be to create the boards and templates and add integrations and automations to all of them, but this process is not difficult either. Adding custom fields and customizing the app in general is straightforward, as well as adding new users. Let's go over pricing. The version we reviewed today is the pro version, which costs $20 per user per month, billed monthly. But the minimum amount of users required is three, so you will have to pay at least $60 a month to start. There are other cheaper versions available, including a free version, but you will be missing out a lot of features like chart view, time tracking, and dependency columns. I think the $20 per month cost puts Monday.com right with other similar apps. I recommend Monday.com to any organization that is looking for a flexible project manager that can be used for a variety of projects and maybe for other purposes as well, like a basic CRM or HR software. As a project manager, all the basics are covered and the automations and integrations are great. Getting started is also simple and doesn't require you to have any previous knowledge. Alternatives to Monday.com are ClickUp, which has a similar flexible way to organize your project, and also Asana, which is more expensive, but the design is really nice and has a few extra features specifically for project management. If you would like something less expensive, you can try Zoho Projects. It has a lot of similar features for half of the price. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up. I have a question for you. Are you currently using a project management software? And if you do, which one are you using? Let me know in the comments down below. And also remember to check out the other videos I have on this channel. Thanks for watching.